Hello everybody, and welcome back to Outlast, the Whistleblower DLC. We got outside, and it is very dark now, and very misty, and I need to make my way to a radio. So, let's do that. Oish, okay, that is bright. Night vision is not the way to go. Excuse me? Uh uh. No, 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 not again, not again, not again, not again, not again, not again, not again. This isn't the radio. Where'd it come yet? I don't think I... Stop with your string quartet bullshit. Nothing's gonna happen, and you know it. You're just trying to get me to be spooked. And it's working! But also, fuck you. This is definitely the way I want to go. Through a ripped hole in the fence. Oh, hello. 
You're right there. Don't think fences make that sound when you bang them, but uh, okay. Oi. So very bright. <sighs> Oi. Do I wanna be up here? Do I wanna? It's fine. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's fine. The reason I don't have my camera out is because I can see better without it. And, um... My night vision helps. He looks nervous. I would like to kill him. As would I. Oh, you guys again? Oh. What if I showed you who the big man was? What if I told you I wanted to kill you? Hmm? Hmm? Would that... Would that earn me your respect? And then you wouldn't want to kill me anymore because I actually have the balls to kill you? Hmm? Is that how that would work? Is it? Is it? Asking for a friend. Who's never want to kill you? You're my friend. Um... Those are hands. <laughs> the hoops up there. Oh, Smiles, fart. nothing. Smiles, fart. Ah! Oh, that's a butt. You only saw it for like a split second. I'm sure you two will be fine with it. Okay, safe. No. Oh. Document. What is it? Kurt, we've got another one. And I'm not sure you're going to be able to check it off as psychopathic proximity disorder. Security guard all the way up in the admin block is our latest non-patient employee to start seeing Wernick's fairy tales. He was never directly exposed to the engine, never even made it below level 1 in the building. It would be an enormous breach of protocol and security if doctors were speaking about the speaking off the wall rider within hearing of a contracted security guard and seems vanishingly improbable that he would stumble onto such an obscure mythological story on his own. It's too similar to the Dr. Samuel case, or the others before him. It's one thing for formerly sane medical personnel to fall under the delusions of their patients. It's another thing entirely for those beliefs to be, I don't know, airborne. We need to talk in person. Billings. <coughs> so not Billy, Billings. Got you.
Um, ah, ladder. Someone's gonna be at the top of the ladder. Nope. Okay. Don't trust them. They'll tell you it's science, but it's not. They were waiting for us in this place. Billy understood. They've always been here. He seems sane. Hey, you you look normal too. Sounds like Walker. <sighs> no. Is it Walker? Ah, uh, that that's Walker. Yep. Ow. Okay. Keep it going. Yep. Attention, work on personnel. Oi. An emergency evacuation is in Oi. process. Oi. Down. Oh. Hey, it's Father Martin. He's busy putting the down the hole. He's, that's what he's doing. Somebody who looks as much like a priest as this place place looks like an asylum. Writing instructions on the wall, talking about God, tells me not to be afraid. How was I ever a part of this inhuman bullshit greed driven moral genocide? The monsters Murkoff ripped from tortured minds, the lengths their jackbooted business school worms will go to to protect it. Their own men slaughtered. I've never prayed in my life, Lisa. But if some small minded prayer but if some small minded inventor interventionist god is listening, kill Jeremy yeah, Blair before I die. Sanity and avarice. There's no pain he doesn't deserve. There is no radio, no hope of reaching the outside world, only escape. Yeah. 
you think it was technology? Yeah. We had faith in all the wrong things. Another poor soul. Don't be afraid, you're doing his work. Whether you know it or not. Give me a second. Rick, fun hitting the greens last week. We should make the drive more often. Was reviewing some old test records from early days of Project Wallrider and something sparked my interest. Were you following the project back in 2010? Apparently we had issues with female employees experiencing psychosomatic pregnancies. Something to do with how the morphogenic engine interacts with the immune system. All Greek to me, am I right? It was more often fatal than not. And these were employees, and not patients, so a little harder to sweep under the rug. But, the morphogenic engine activity in these ladies' marrow was off the charts. And these are women who were never even exposed to additional hormone therapy. Now, I don't know PPM from a kick in the teeth, but I can read a spreadsheet. And if the projected profits from Project Wallrider are half what they say they are, I've just got one question. Why aren't we performing experiments on women? God knows mental illness is an equal opportunity affliction. Seems unethical to pass up on such a potential windfall. Sincerely, Jer. So, the morphogenic engine was oh God, one of them's coming. differently on... <laughs> I'm not human anymore? How dare they? So, um, the morphogenic engine works differently on male and female. This is what I'm gathering. Thank you for the battery. Is that all that was in here? That's all. Eh? Someone's chasing me. Uh. Okay, it's some agile bitch. Yeep. Okay, that was weird. Why does it do that? It shouldn't, right? Like, that's not just me. Like, it, uh, it actually shouldn't do that. But it does do that. Can't even attempt. Oh, but I can climb through, yeah. Aha. I'll take that. Above the knees, below the navel, slice and sewn on Gluskin's table. To make a place to push inside, the groom will make himself a bride. Above the knees, below the navel, sliced and sewn, sliced and sewn on Luskin's tail. Oh, it's the same bloody thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Y'all ain't getting me. And I'm not letting y'all get in. Oh. Are oh, you playing Tok Toki? They must be scared of me, that's why. I'm scared of them too. So. It's a... Fair trade. I know they want me to go that way, but there's a gate here that I haven't tried, so let's try it. Oh! I don't even know if I'm supposed to be here.
Ähm I don't think I'm supposed to be here. But I'm here. And I'm actually out of time. I completely blanked and did not check the time at all. Huh? Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Maybe I am. This seems like a saving place. And save. Okay. Wait. Alright, cool. And with that, I'm going to say thank you everybody so much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.